Are you gonna join me? You're just slightly out of frame, so do you want to be in frame or do you want to not be in the frame? Oh, you want to be in the frame? Come here. Come here. Oh, there she is. Say hello. Hello. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Let's take these off while we're here, shall we? Riley's getting naked. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very exciting try on haul for y'all. We, Riley, Riley. Okay, girlfriend. We are gonna be trying on some pieces. Hold on. We are gonna be trying on some pieces from Abercrombie, which is crazy because I have not ordered anything from Abercrombie or worn a piece of Abercrombie since high school, which was in maybe 2012. And there obviously has been a ton of hype around Abercrombie. I actually asked you guys on my Instagram if you wanted to see an Abercrombie haul and I got so much response from you guys over any brand that I've ever asked about. You guys were so curious about Abercrombie. And then I also had a lot of y'all who vouched for Abercrombie and their like rebrand. So I'm really excited to get into this package. This package actually was supposed to arrive like three or four days ago, but it ended up going to Mississippi, then coming back. Anyway, long story short, we finally got it. It made its way home and we're gonna try this stuff on. I think I ended up spending around $400 on Abercrombie clothes. So I really hope that I like it because I dropped some serious coin at Abercrombie, which is something that I honestly never ever thought I would do. So we are gonna get into this. I've got my package right here. Riley is chilling with me today. Say hello. You love try on hauls. We took her on a run today, so she's super sleepy and she doesn't go on runs very often anymore because we realized that her breed isn't supposed to run super far. We went on a short run today and so we took her with us and she did a good job, but she's really tired. She's been sleeping all day, so she's probably gonna fall asleep next to me in a second, but let's go ahead and open this Abercrombie order up. Oh, Riley, you're in front of the camera. Come here. She wants to be a star. Front and center. All right. It's been a little while since I placed my order, so I honestly don't really remember what I got. I will be sure to put the sizes down below along with all of these pieces so that you can check them out if you want. I ended up getting stuff that wasn't on sale because I wanted to get stuff that y'all could end up grabbing if you like it. All this stuff is actually really cute though. I was having a lot of fun going through the website and picking stuff out. So where should we start? Should we start? Okay, let's start with this top right here. I guess I should keep everything relatively relatively neat in case I need to send stuff back. I honestly wasn't super sure what sizes to order, so I hope all this fits, but we shall see. First thing that I got, I thought was so, so cute. I love these types of smocked shirts with these like puff sleeves. So this one apparently comes with a scrunchie, a matching scrunchie, which I didn't know that it actually came with a scrunchie, so that's a bonus. But this is the top, so it is smocked on the lower half in the front, but the whole back of it is a smocked kind of vibe. So super cute, very picnic-y. I thought this would look great with denim, obviously. And then it's got a little puff sleeve with a gathering. I feel like this is kind of in line as far as quality goes, like with Madewell. It's kind of the same vibe. It's also kind of a similar price point. So I'm actually really into this. I think this is gonna be really, really cute. I am five foot two just for reference and I got this in an extra small. So I think they do have extra, extra small, but I did this one in an extra small because I think they were actually out of the extra extra small. Really really pretty light gingham pattern. So excited for that. So this is the smocked top and I absolutely adore this. I think the size actually works really well for me. I'm such a huge fan. I love that it is like a little bit cropped but it's still long enough to where you can tuck it into your jeans. So it probably goes to about here which is just a little bit below my waist but I think this neckline is so so cute and I love these sleeves. It's a really really comfortable top. It actually is like not that tight at all, which is really great. And I actually love the look of it with this light blue denim. These jeans are from Madewell and I will link these down below as well. But I think this is actually really cute together. It's a super simple spring look, but I think you could throw on a sneaker with this and a cute bag. I love that it's a really kind of soft plaid. So this is the first top. Okay, the next thing that I got, I think these are called the cloud sweat shorts and I got these ones in an extra, extra small. 
and these looked so cute online. They are really, really soft. I think that the inside, the inside is, is not as like plushy as you think it's gonna be, but it's still soft. Like it's not a rough like material. I love the little like paper bag looking waist to these and then it has the drawstring they have them in gray i got them in the tan so i think it's kind of showing up a little bit gray on camera but this is in the light tan and i'm actually really glad that i got the extra extra small because this looks like it's gonna fit me pretty well so these are the sweat shorts and i think they are so stinking cute but you're definitely gonna want to size down in them in my opinion these are an extra extra small but i still have to tie them pretty tight but i think they're so cute i love the kind of paper bag style to them and then they have a kind of little cuff that's already built in here so i think they're really really cute they have pockets which is nice and i just think they're honestly so comfortable so what more do you need than a comfy pair of sweat shorts the next piece that i got is a bodysuit i got this one in an extra small because i don't know typically like bodysuits and things that are supposed to fit really tight i usually will like size up because i want them to fit a little bit looser not super tight so this one is a bodysuit it is a thong style bodysuit just so you know and then it's got a yeah it's a square neckline it's a very like soft square neckline but I love this color I thought this color would just be great with denim and then gold jewelry and I just feel like it's a very sleek look to throw your hair up in like a claw clip and I just thought this would be really versatile and this is the bodysuit I actually love it with the sweat shorts I think it's such a good piece I am obsessed with this color it's like the perfect neutral where it's not too close to like flesh color to where it's like is she wearing a top you know what i mean but i think that this neckline is honestly so flattering i love that it's kind of between a scoop neck and a square neckline so you can wear it with basically any bra which i am such a fan of i hate tops that you have to like figure out a bra situation for so i'm really glad that i kind of sized up in this bodysuit because it's just way more comfortable i didn't want it to be super tight so i think that this fits really well it looks great with the sweat shorts and i'm just a big fan of this look it's super cozy you could throw on some sneakers and i feel like you're good to go so this bodysuit though is really really flattering on i love that they have it in multiple colors and again the neckline is just really flattering okay let's get into something that isn't tan because the first three pieces were tan and believe it or not i did order some stuff that isn't tan oh is this the dress okay i'm really excited about this okay so this is a dress and they actually have stuff that's in petite which i was really surprised about. I don't totally remember if they had petite when I was in high school. I think I honestly probably just shopped at the kids hour crombie. This dress is so cute. Ah, uh, it is smocked from kind of the ribs down. So it's going to be super fitted, but adorable. You could throw this on with heels. You could also wear it with sneakers. And I just adore this neckline. So what's really cool about this dress is that they have all these clasps. So you can actually like button it up if you don't want it to be a super deep plunging neckline or you can wear it open so it's versatile you can kind of open it up to your preference and then it has the cutest little puff sleeve I think I'm the most excited about this dress because I just feel like it's gonna be really cute on and then it has a little ruffle at the bottom and I went with this pretty patterned pink dress and actually I think Jason picked this one out I asked him which pattern I should get and I think he chose this one so really really cute might wear it to date night tomorrow night we're gonna go to an Italian restaurant that we had a gift card for over a year for so hopefully that's still valid but really excited for that okay so this is the dress and I love the way that it fits however this was like really crazy to get on I thought I don't know I honestly didn't think I was gonna be able to get it on because there's no zipper and I thought like because it's stretchy like oh of course it'll just slip on but it actually was like kind of challenging to get on so I would maybe suggest sizing up in this dress because it actually does fit a little bit tight i actually might exchange it for a size up because it is a little bit tight kind of in my armpits so i need to figure out what size i want to order in this i might just size up but still keep the petite because i really like the length of it i do think it actually is a little bit tight in the chest here i love that you can button these up or unbutton them i don't know i can't tell if i should size up in this or not i'm thinking honestly i might because it is just a little bit uncomfortable but i'm obsessed with this style and I'm definitely going to order this in the correct size. I would suggest maybe not sizing down, that's for sure. It's pretty fitted to where if you're between sizes, I would size up is what I would say. But I think 
the length is perfect for somebody who's five foot two. Ugh, I'm just like obsessed with this. I'm gonna be really sad if it's sold out because I really, really want this dress. Like it's to the point where it's like, if it's sold out online in my size, I might just keep this and wear it even though it's a little bit like tight in the armpits. But I just absolutely adore this dress in this pattern and I'm really, really hoping it's not sold out because this is like the one piece that I was like hoping for the most. So a little bit bummed that it's tight, but that's good to know that if it is petite, I probably don't need to size down as well. I normally will size down if stuff isn't petite because normally it fits a little bit bigger on me because they do have petite. I should have just stuck to my sizing. I don't know. Sizing between brands is so complicated. I know made well, I always size down, but with Abercrombie, I guess I don't have to. So that is good to know. Obviously it's my first time ordering from them. So I wasn't super familiar with their sizing, but I just think this is so cute. I'm so sad. I'm gonna have to return it. Oh, I hope they have my size though. <laughs> Okay, really quick. Here is the predicament that I'm having right now. So if I want to wear it open with like a plunging neckline and obviously I wouldn't wear this bra, so ignore the bra. I can't imagine I would want a bigger size in this because it would kind of like come open. So I like it really fitted if I'm gonna wear it kind of like this, although it is pretty like deep of a neckline. So I probably would want at least like the first one buttoned. I should probably just change this out and get a different size, but I really like it. I ended up grabbing a pair of their shorts because I feel like I saw a lot of people post about their shorts last year and I was like, Abercrombie, who's wearing Abercrombie? Well, of course I had to order a pair of their shorts. So I got these in a 24 and these are a pair of high-waisted cutoff shorts, just a really classic pair of cutoff denim shorts. So I'm really excited to throw these on. I love that they have this little slit right here. I think that's gonna be really flattering. And then I just love this wash. I think this is like the perfect light blue wash. They have tons of washes in this specific style. So if you check out these shorts, I will list what wash this is, but they have a bunch of different washes like white and black and darker blue. And they have some that aren't as distressed, but I really like the distressed look. So those are the ones that I grabbed and I'm hoping that they fit. They should fit. So these are the shorts and I am actually really, really into the way that they fit. They aren't super tight, which is nice. I feel like in the summer, I don't want my shorts being really tight. I like my jeans to be really tight but I like my shorts to feel a little bit more casual and just like comfortable so I really love the way that these fit I think they are a great wash they are high-waisted and they have the little slit in the side which I think is super cute I've got it paired with that first top and I think this is such a cute spring outfit so you could obviously you know size down if you wanted them to fit a little bit more like tight but I think these are so comfortable and I really love the wash big fan of these this next piece guys I am so excited about because I have wanted one of these for forever. I originally saw these like workout dresses from Outdoor Voices, but I saw that Abercrombie had one and I just adored this color. So this is the workout dress and I'm so excited. I really like the material. It does feel like an active wear material. It has shorts in the bottom. You don't have to worry about it like coming, like it literally is an active wear dress. So you can wear it on walks, you can wear it to play tennis, you could wear it to play pickleball, you could wear it to play basketball. <laughs> you could wear it anywhere. You could throw a sweater over it and it's so stinking cute. So I'm really, really excited for this. They also have it in black, but I just adore this color green. And then I got this in an extra, extra small. So I'm really excited about that. I love that it has the built-in shorts. That's brilliant. So this is the workout dress and I feel like I might need to exchange sizes and size up because this is pulling a little bit here. I feel like it fits really well everywhere else. It's just like right here, but I love this color. I love the length. The shorts are amazing. I am really, really excited about this dress. I think I just want to change out the size, even though I feel like it fits really well everywhere else. I want this to be a little bit more like smooth. Okay, this next piece that I got is a dress and this one, oh, I just absolutely adore this print. It's so delicate and pretty. 
So this is kind of like a slip dress vibe to it. It is a longer dress and then I actually don't think it has a slit in it. So it's just a midi dress and then it's got this really pretty floral print on white, which I think is so, so pretty. You could throw a cardigan over this, but I just thought this was so cute. I love the cut of this, these like slip dresses. So I'm excited to throw that on. I think that would look so cute with the sneaker, a little basket bag. You know, I just wear all of my dresses with sneakers. Okay, this is the dress and I am obsessed with this dress. I would again say if you're between sizes, size up. I'm finding that Abercrombie does run a little bit small. So that's good to know because I feel like a lot of brands run pretty big and this is running very small. I feel like I ran into the exact opposite problem with J. Crew. Everything ran large and everything here is running small. So I'm glad I know now, but I'm probably gonna exchange this for one size bigger, but I really, really love this print. The fit is really gorgeous. I love this neckline. I think this is just such a beautiful spring summer dress. So I'm really hoping they have this in the next size up because I feel like it will feel a little bit less tight. I think this is such a pretty pattern. I love, love the white. Okay, and this last piece is I think a top. This is a top or a dress. I'm like, what did I order? This is again, another cute little crop, but it's not super short, which is really nice. And this is the similar vibe as that smocked dress where you have these clips in there so you can adjust how deep you want the neckline to go. But I love this floral print and then it has these big, big sleeves, which I am such a fan of. And then what's really nice is that the back is actually smocked. So it's gonna be stretchy and it's gonna stretch to your shape, which I think is really nice. Cause I feel like sometimes these more like fitted shirts that have like zippers can start to get really tight. So I really like that it's smocked, but it's in the back. So it doesn't look like a smocked shirt, but I think this is gonna look so great with denim. Guys, honestly, I am, obsessed with all of these pieces. I'm like, Abercrombie Finch, do you wanna sponsor a video? Because I actually really love all of these. So this is the floral blouse, and I actually really love the way that this fits. I would say if you are between sizes, I would personally size up because again, kind of like that pink dress, these don't have zippers, so they're kind of tricky to get on, even though they do have the stretchy backs, they are still a little bit tricky to get on. So I would definitely suggest sizing up if you're between sizes, but I really, really love this top. I think it's so cute with denim shorts. It is like the perfect soft pink and the pattern is really cute. I love the sleeves on this top. And again, I love that you can adjust the neckline so you can make it a more plunging neckline if you want, or you can button it up. So I've got it buttoned all the way up, but I still think it's a really flattering neckline. But those are all the pieces that I ordered. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. This was a total new brand for me. I mean, new as in I haven't worn this in literally years. So like I mentioned before, I will link all of these pieces down below in the description box, as well as the sizes that I ordered. But I hope you guys enjoyed this try on haul. If you did, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and leave me a comment down below and let me know what other brands you want me to try out and order from. I actually had a lot of fun shopping at a new brand, so I would love to know if there are any brands that you're curious about that you'd like me to do a try on haul for, but if you are new to my channel and you want to stick around for some more videos, I am constantly doing try on hauls, so be sure to hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in my next one very, very soon. Bye, y'all!